So someone commented on one of the videos that I've done in this series, uh, said something like, seems like you're saying that you we awaken in the midst of pain, or right in the midst of our discomfort. That's exactly what I'm saying. Thank you. In fact, awakening wouldn't even be a thing if we didn't have pain, emotional pain, suffering, physical pain, whatever. Why would even, why would any human being be interested in awakening if there was not suffering there? Why would anyone be interested in freedom if there wasn't bondage? Our suffering is a blessing in disguise. Because how we relate to it means everything. So if we suffer and just sort of continue to identify with those thoughts and feelings and just tell those stories over and over to ourselves about how we're suffering and how everything is wrong or how we're scared or angry or the world isn't this way or that way or things aren't going right or whatever. If we continue in that, right, we suffer. We suffer and we're not conscious. We just suffer. We believe everything that we're thinking. We feel everything that we're thinking. And we live in this reality in our head right? Completely believing everything about our suffering. That's one way to experience life for sure. <laughs> but there's an opportunity there, you see, because in the midst of that suffering, in the midst of being really identified with these thoughts and these feelings and sensations and these experiences and everything else in the world, right in the midst of that, you can wake up. Meaning, when you're in pain, when you're triggered, when you're charged, it's the most opportune time to turn towards what's arising in your experience. The thoughts, the feelings, sensations, and rest with them. Inquire, right in the midst of it. It's an, it's an amazing thing that happens. That instead of just suffering for suffering's sake, instead of just the program running itself in the mind and body, something else happens. An awareness within us begins to observe this thought stream. And as it does, it starts to get, there's some space with that thought stream, right? It's, these are the tools I've been showing you. And it's literally like believing something completely, like being totally in a program, whatever that is, it doesn't, I don't want to be very specific here because we all suffer for different reasons, different stories, different beliefs, different situations, different illnesses, different injuries, different paradigms, different opinions. People are suffering for different content, you could say. But we all have this in common, which is that right in the midst of that suffering, right in the midst of it, we can look from awareness and start to inquire. Start looking at our thoughts. Start looking at the program. And then in looking at that program and allowing it, like bringing love to it, and not hugging it and saying I love you all the time, but <laughs> to love it means to no longer be at war with what's arising in your experience. To not be at war with it, just to see it and allow it, the thoughts, the sensations, the feelings. Let them be seen, let them be allowed and loved. And in that, our pain is trained, it's changed to or transmuted into freedom, love, awakeness, presence, whatever you want to say. We are transformed in that. I've never met a single person in the time I've been teaching that was seeking enlightenment but wasn't in any pain. <laughs> so it's a natural thing to seek enlightenment or seek awakening. It's very natural. It's, it's just the system looking for relief. 
That's all. Just like when you go drink a beer or something else. Or eat cake, shoot heroin, um, seek any reward. We're looking to escape pain, right? To, to avoid it or escape it. That's the, that's the thing. And that's where we go wrong. Because in seeking to escape it, we're not resting with it. We're not waking up in the midst of it. So whatever suffering you're experiencing, let that be the entry point into this work. Whatever you're suffering, whatever your suffering is today, let that be the thing you inquire into and rest with from awareness. Start now, in other words. Yeah, many people hear about enlightenment or awakening and they think, oh, I'm gonna go after that. Because again, it's natural. They just want to feel better. They want to be better. They want to do better. They want to become something. But where is that coming from? It's coming from pain. Right? It's coming from what the person is experiencing by what they're believing and thinking about and feeling. The worldview that they have. The way that they dream. Their, their dream. The mind is a dream. It's just like a dream and it's telling you all sorts of things and you're believing it. And then you're feeling that. And that's the pain, right? So someone says, oh, there's a such thing as awakening, the end of suffering. And the mind goes, yes, I want that. And for a while it starts to seek that, like a drug, you know, or something. It starts to go after it in the future, like I gotta find it, I gotta find it, where can I find it, what teacher has it, what method has it, blah, blah, blah. That's natural, of course. But what I'm saying is, is right in the midst of your pain, instead of seeking the future, stop. Rest. Notice your thoughts. Begin inquiry, or begin just resting. The tools that I've given you. Come down to the body, just like I've told you. That's the entry point into the awakeness that we're referring to when we talk about enlightenment. Awake now, here, present, with what is, with what's arising now. Instead of being completely identified with it, believing it, and suffering over it, in the dream of self, or the dream, whatever your dream is. <laughs> it's like right in the midst of that, just mm, begin resting as awareness and looking and inquiring. So yes, Thank you for whoever made the comment on my YouTube video about, wow, he's saying awakening is like right in the midst of my pain. I'm absolutely saying that. I am. Let your triggers wake you up. That's what I'm saying. Your triggers are the places in your, in the relationships of your, or in your life or in the world. Triggers are things that emotionally come up for you that make you angry, irritated, fearful, shameful. You know, you're, the Velcro effect is happening. Those triggers where you're f thinking something and feeling something and it feels very real and you're triggered, right? Those are the moments that are the entry points into freedom. That's why this work revolves around triggers. We talked about it earlier. Like if I'm with someone and in, in a relationship and they trigger the story, I'm not good enough, right? That trigger, that feeling of hurt then I might attack them back or something or whatever, but that's all in the dream. If I can wake up right in the middle of that and just say, okay, hmm, I feel that looking from awareness. What is it I believe? I believe I'm not good enough. And then I just reverse it. I'm perfect as I am. And the system goes, no, you're not. It shows you its program right there. No, you're not. And it gives you memories, gives you pictures, words feelings, sensations, all proving that that's what you are, not good enough, a person who's not good enough, or whatever the story is, right? Right in the midst of that is your opportunity, right in the midst of that trigger is your opportunity to see that that's not what you are. Those are just words, pictures, feelings, and sensations appearing to you, the awareness that 
is here. The presence is here already that's not a story. You begin inquiring into that skillfully and seeing right through it. And when you do, there's a transformation there. You're waking up from that story. And then that also transforms relationship, which I will hope to talk about later. There's a rich transformation that happens in all relationship with this work or in the waking up and embodiment process. But for now, the point being is this. You see, yeah, this is not, enlightenment is not about making an end run around pain or trying to avoid it or escape it or run from it or get away. From, you know, it's none of that, really. Be careful with that because that is the addictive cycle, the chasing, always chasing. No, this is about waking up in the midst of your pain and I'm giving you the tools to do that. So you never have to divorce yourself from the world or from life. No, no, no. This is waking up in the midst of life, in the midst of relationship. Let yourself get triggered. Let yourself get angry, fearful, ashamed, resentful, because that's your opportunity, opportunity to inquire right there. Right in the midst of your pain is where you wake up. Be grateful for that pain. It's what's showing you the way to freedom. You see, there's, there's a choice there. You can either be right in the midst of that pain, believing it and feeling it and not inquiring into it and not waking up and just suffering over and over and over again. Or you can stop and listen to me, the tools I'm giving you and right in the middle of that, whew, open up and look from awareness at the trigger. Inquire skillfully if needed. But in any case, be awake to that, allowing that and seeing through that. That's the awakening. That's the embodiment too, because you're feeling all that stuff in your body. You have to come down into the body with awareness and feel it with the tools that I've given you. I hope I've made my point here. Thank you for that comment on my video because it's really helped to further give context for this work.